So I'm talking about like the code gen stuff right now, how uh, the code generator in our game works. Just a glimpse on it. So um, LVM has a target independent code generator. As I told you before, everything that um, we write everything as independent code, and if a target has anything custom or different from the common code, we can specify it using inheritance and overload stuff. We also have a, a custom language that we use inside the backend descriptions, so we can describe. Um, we can use descriptions in a high level way, and we can have um, automatic C++ generated code for that. So this, this language is called TableGen. So for example, um, for, um, well, let's suppose we have like the, the AVX instruction for the x86 architecture. Uh, we want to define LPS, so um, as it's marked on yellow, we can, like 58, it's the encoding of the instruction, so that information is going to be used while emitting direct object code, and we will use it for the disassembler, for example. We also have like the equivalent assembly instruction that will be used for, for the, the assembly parser on the integrated assembler, and, and also for the assembler, the assembly printer, which will print the code. And we also have the information which is going to be used by the, instru the, the instruction selection. So for example, uh, if you want to match that FPS, we want to match like we can use in x86, for example, to do uh, simple float point operations. So for the equivalent IR uh, operation f add, if if the f add on the IR looks like this pattern, we're going to match it and emit the FPS instruction. So we have all those informations we need for the assembler, for the disassembler, and for all the other backend tools right in one place. Of course, we, we need to write a lot of custom C++ code for some stuff, which is not easy to describe. But uh, with this, this simple idea, we can describe most part of the instructions. And the cool thing is that it's everything in one place. You don't need to, to go um, to the assembler and change one thing, go to the linker and change one thing, go to uh, the compiler itself and change one thing. Since everything is one, it's in one place, um, we only have, it's easy to maintain. So right now we support several targets, uh, like ARM, Alpha, Black Theme, Cell SPU, which is a little bit outdated right now, M M Blaze, MSP, 430, MIPS, PTX for the NVIDIA boards, PowerPC, all, all several different sub-targets PowerPC has. Uh, we have Spark, Sport, SystemZ, x86, and Xcore. Not all of them have and supports like integrated assembler and that kind of stuff, but it at least emits code. But it's easier to support if any has an interest in that. So um, things we need to do while we code gen. First, we need to uh, we need to support the target ABI, which is uh, we can easily describe in all game at least when it's 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 an easy calling convention stuff like that, and then. With that information, we can match the IR properly and translate the IR instructions to real target instructions and real target registers. So um, we can also use the TableGen tool that I told you before to, uh, to describe the ABI information. So for example, for MIPS EABI, we can say just um, if we have IR32 argument, just put it on the register from AO to A3 and T0, T1, and the other registers. Um, if it's not a I32, if it's like I8 or I16 type, you can promote it to I32, and then you can match the right registers. And if we don't match it that, we can also allocate the argument on the stack, for example, which is a line and remove it to don't let the example get too complicated. But it's also easy to describe using that language. Um, and everything we can handle using this description, we can always fall back to the C++ code and uh, custom handling it to do whatever we need to. So, and some, some of the ABI information is also done in the front end. We can just 
since, for example, the x86 64 ABI has lots of restrictions, and some of them um, are are handled in the front end instead of being handled on the back end. So it can use the calling convention in the right way in the front end, and it, it gets easier to translate when you get to the back end. So um, for the task of the back end, which is to translate the IR to the real instructions, we have several phases. We have a phase that we call the legalization phase, which is we mark nodes, which are IR, basically IR instructions, as one of the three types. <coughs> The instruction can be legal, that means that one IR instructions directly match one target instruction. Um, the second type, we can expand a node, that means uh, one IR instruction has to be expanded to another, uh, several other uh, IR instructions because the target doesn't know how to handle that, so you, the IR itself has to, to do that in another way. Or you can customize it, which means that for that specific node, we want to generate other codes by ourselves. We don't want to, to let the, the target independent uh, legalizer to expand that to other nodes operation. We have a deck combine, which, is, which can be run uh, after the legalization or pre legalization, which is something we can custom write for targets to uh, combine several different nodes on the IR. The IR. For example, if a target has like um, a very common instruction that takes uh, that has a low latency. You can, for example, uh, if you recognize that in the LFMIR has several other instructions, you can combine those other several instructions into one or two instructions and easily match it later during the legalization. And we can also and we also have after that the instruction selection, which will match the nodes that we created from the IR. To, because we have like two, two kinds of nodes. We, we have like the IR nodes, which are equivalent to IR instructions, and we can have target-specific nodes, which are both, both of these types of nodes are matched later during instruction selection. I'll show more examples here. So for example, um, for the IR node um, sub, we have the ISD sub, which is the enum name for, that, for the IR sub instruction. Um, since it's legal, it will be matched later in the instruction selection. We don't need to touch that code. But for example, if we have silent int, int to floating point instruction on the IR, and for some target we, we don't natively support that operation, we can tell the, the LVM independent uh, legalizer to expand those nodes for us, and we'll expand it to several other nodes that will do the equivalent operation. That's what's called expand. And during custom uh, legalization, we can, for example, uh, the IR node that counts the trailing zeros, if our, for the ARM architecture, um, let's suppose we are using I64, we have an I64 register, or, or, or something that has like a long in type, and we want to do the, the, the count trailing zeros for, for that variable, and, but ARMs don't, don't support that natively for that kind of, of, of size. So we can custom expand it to use a specific ARM node, for example, for this, that will later be matched to the instruction R bit, and um, get that together with count uh, leading zeros, for example. So we can custom um, transform the nodes to do something that it's easier for the target to match later. And after that, or before that, we can also run the, the deck combine. For example, in the first example, if, um, if A is a constant, we can transform that multiplication into a net with a shift, for example, which will be easier matched by the ARM architecture than the, the first one. Um, the same for the BFI instruction below. Um, if we also have seen BFI on the, on the flow of instructions with those characteristics, we can transform it to a simple instructions. So as you can see, you can optimize during legalization. You can also optimize during that combine, and you can also optimize during the instruction selection. So to tell LVM that it, it has to match some instruction, uh, we can use table gen pattern matching, which is the equivalent that I showed you before in that like FPS instruction. We only have to write a pattern set saying, for this IR construct, I want to match it to this instruction. For, so for example, for the, the, uh, the MIPS uh, add IU instruction, 
um, we 